Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's outdoor kitchen today. <clears throat> I decided to bring my kitchen outdoors. There may be a little noise going on. You might hear a few seagulls screaming their heads off, especially when I start cooking. I just came on a few minutes early to give everybody an opportunity to get on. Hey George, how are you there in Florida? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on. Really, really nice to see you, George. Miss you. <laughs> hey, I hope you, you were serious about buying that property up near Derby Lane. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Hi, Tamara and Catherine. Hi, how are you? Well, today I am going to make you, and Mary Stevenson, nice to see you. Thanks for coming on. And Emma, you must just be getting up, Emma. Have you got a glass of wine in your hand yet? <laughs> and if not, why not? <laughs> nice to see you. I hope your family are well. I know a couple of your sister-in-law and brother were ill with COVID, so I hope that they've pleasantly recovered because I know you were sitting in the hospital with them or you were waiting to get some news about them. So I hope that's all all right. Hi, Pam and Janice. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Peter. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Hope those dogs aren't fighting. And Catherine, top of the morning to you too, Catherine. I'm just waiting a few more minutes till I get a few more people on here before I start. I'm going to make a really, really easy chicken stir fry today. Uh, just with the ingredients I had, I could have gone, I kind of wanted to make it like a Buddha bowl, which I've kind of taken an interest in lately really really co colorful ingredients cut up and then you just make your own bowls with quinoa or rice and I didn't have any noodles today so really I wanted noodles to go with this but at the end of the day it doesn't matter basmati rice or uh, noodles so I've decided to opt for the rice today because I didn't want to go to the supermarket I'm trying to go as little as possible and use up ingredients that I have hi Samantha Oh, I'm glad you caught me live too. Good, Emma, I'm glad to hear. Yes, Emma, give peace a chance. <laughs> um, <clears throat> great, hi Grace. Oh, lovely to see you girls all on here. And Donna? Well, listen, we're gonna make a really easy uh, chicken stir fry. I have my little friend down here, Biscuit, has been sniffing around my table because he can smell the raw chicken here. And um, so we'll get started. First of all, I wanted to show you what I do with my onions. I obviously peel them first, but instead of cutting them in half like that to chop, I like to do them diagonal. And I generally do this this way for my Indian food or any kind of stir fry that I'm doing because it gives them a little bit more, sub it makes them a bit more substantial. So I'm just gonna do these diagonal first. We're sitting in the garden here in Mary's garden. I just thought all my Florida friends, George included, have these beautiful outdoor uh, kitchen gardens. Oh, fantastic. George has got a pool and get all their, their fridges set up outside. And my friends Gail and Les, they've got a great big barbecue. And um, my friend Colleen, she's got a great big pizza oven going on out there and a great big green egg barbecue. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Kathy Wilson, you need to do that too. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Kathy, you need to set up an outdoor kitchen. You got a great place for setting up an outdoor kitchen there. Kimberly, I haven't seen you for ages. You must, you're home, obviously. <clears throat> Not in school. I haven't seen you for such a long time. Allie, how are you? So, first of all, um, I've cut up the onion, just wanted to show you that I, that's how I cut them up diagonally when I'm doing a stir fry. And I've got a couple of large garlic cloves here. I like kind of large hunks of garlic, so don't cut your fingers off. And I'm just going to chop them up. I just thought I'd bring you outside. You're going to hear all the birds twittering and you're going to hear the seagulls going mad too. One of them comes to the window every day and knocks on the window with its beak, which is crazy man so first of all I'm gonna turn on my little induction here to number five and I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil but it doesn't matter if you don't have sesame oil Jacqueline good to see you today love thanks for coming on I gave you the time <laughs> you're working from home Kim great and Belinda nice to see you too 
<laughs> oh, just reading that little message there from somebody. Janice, hi. So I'm going to put a little bit, I don't know, tape, just around the pan, okay? This is a non-stick pan, and it doesn't really require any oil. But I'm using sesame oil because it gives a little flavor, a little bit more Chinese flavor into the... Uh, I'm just going to put that down there. You can smell the sesame heating up there. So <clears throat> we're going to put our onion in there and our garlic first. So I can get rid of those and get them out of the way and get my other little ingredients in here. So basically we've got one onion. Oh, is that better? You can see more central now. I can see you too. And Christy. Hey Grace. No, Grace, this isn't a Curtis Stone, but my friend Lynn Forrester, she swears by Curtis Stone. This is a Salter non-stick frying pan, which is fantastic. But in saying that, I would like to invest in uh, a set of Curtis Stone because I think that they're really, really good. But Salter are good too. This is a really good non-stick pan. I think it's guaranteed for like 15 years. So, hi Jennifer. Oh, Jeannie, how are you? Have you got the same clothes on as me today? <laughs> you did yesterday. Well, I just like to do a couple of these little cooking videos every couple of days just to bring some sunshine into your kitchen. I know things are getting pretty boring and the news isn't great. I know Mr. Trump wants to open up America ASAP, but I don't know whether he's going to be able to do that or not. I'm just breaking my onions up a bit, separating them while chatting. Uh, we've got a lockdown until further notice, so I think we're going to be here for a while. Oh, Kathy, you're going to do that with your home improvements. Terrific. This is kind of like one of those podcast things where you talk to everybody. <laughs> and you, you guys can see all the comments that people are writing. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Oh, you haven't got the same clothes on as me, Jeannie. Okay, so that's our onions in there. As I said, this is a quick stir fry, as long as you're not motor mouth like me. Um, three chicken breasts. I want to get them in. Put that down there. Hopefully this isn't going to... I'm quite close to this pan, so hopefully it doesn't spit back at me. Just stir fry your chicken around there. It's going to be kind of like... Oops, I lost a bit. Mm. Don't worry, I won't be using this cloth for anything else. Um, yeah, with fresh chicken, be very, very careful. As I always say to you when I'm cooking with chicken, be really, really careful because uh, you don't want to touch any other surfaces. And if you wipe it with a cloth, don't use that cloth for anything else because all the juice of the raw chicken is on there. Great way to get salmonella. So... There we are, just browning our chicken up. And I've just got this on a medium heat, like five. Let's see who's on. Do the... Hi, Karen. That's my night walker. <laughs> Calling from Australia. How are you, Karen? Have you got your dogs with you? Because I had a feeling that you didn't have your dogs with you. I don't know why. Or maybe maybe that was, maybe I misunderstood something you said. Hi, Olivia. And Trish Phillipson. Thank you. Trish is my friend who grows the most magnificent chilies. And uh, Trish, I tried to grow uh, Carolina Reapers last year. A friend sent me some seeds over from Hawaii. But it didn't quite work out the way I was hoping. I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper. Yeah, they didn't turn out. And every time I see your beautiful greenhouse house full of chili plants, I'm so jealous. Because you know I love chili. I'm the queen of chili. Ah, that's what I forgot. Chili. Hey, listen, if you're cooking outside, you just have to make do with what you have. And this is what I've prepped up today. So I'm just cook this chicken through. And I've got a couple of other ingredients here. I've got some lovely peppers I'm gonna put in. And I've got some a little bit of brown muscovado sugar. I'm gonna put that in. It's gonna be kind of sweet and sour. I've got some pineapple here. I'd say about a half a tin of pineapple and the juice. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. 
some chicken stock. I, I just use Nora chicken stock cubes, which are easy, okay? Just dissolve in water. Really easy to do. I'm just trying to see who's on. Oh, good, Karen. I'm glad to hear the dogs are doing well. Excellent. Oh, uh, my brother's fine. I know I mentioned that yesterday on the video. Oh, oh. Well, as fine as he can be. I told him to be very careful in the house. He's got his wife's son living with him, and he's, uh, drinks too much, and, uh, kind of, well, he did. He went out to the hospital because he fell, and then came back to their place in a taxi, and obviously they're treating every book patient with the COVID-19 in there, so what the heck was he thinking? So I told my brother, because he's getting on a bit. He's in his late 70s, so I said to him, you better be careful because uh, he could be bringing that stuff in the house. So it's not fair, you know, to do that kind of, it's kind of very selfish behavior. Anyway, that's another story, Karen. He's fine at the moment and strong as an ox. <laughs> hey, Lucas, how are you? Hola, hola. <laughs> Lucas is in lockdown with Cleo, our cat, Cleopatra, at the guest house. Hi, Peg. Good morning. Yeah, well, we got the birds. It's warm outside. It's nice to be sitting outside. I did a quite a bit of walking today, over six kilometers so far. Went right down to the golf course to have a look, to see what was going on. Dead as a dodo. Tennis courts all closed down. So uh, that's basically what was going on today. I'm gonna put the peppers in now. You can see this is pretty easy. And colorful. I like a lot of color in my food. And uh, I'm going to put the pineapple in there now. Mmm, this is smelling good. Smelling very good, actually. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar so it dissolves. A little bit of brown muscovado. A uh, tablespoon or so. That's about all. I don't really measure things, as you probably know. And this is quite a good angle I got the camera at today, because you can see right into my pan. So it's quite good. I'm just sitting at the little picnic table outside. And I thought, oh, this is a great angle, actually, because you can see right into my pan. Ah, Kathy, you can sit and cook, too. You're in a wheelchair at the moment with your sore knee. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool to be able to sit here and cook like this and what I'm gonna do is I've got a little bit of corn flour corn starch all right I put about a tablespoon in here with a little bit of water ah, you got to keep it on the move corn starch yeah there we go I'm just gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to that chicken stock uh, my little helper here is licking the uh, chicken dish already I'm just going to put that in there, just to thicken it just a tiny bit. And then, just move that around. See, it's just stopped sizzling because it's, it'll heat up in a minute. I don't want it too thick, just a little bit. There's some pineapple juice in there. And I got a little bit of chicken stock. I'm going to put that in there too. I might put a little bit more. We'll see what happens. That's still cooking away. These little induction cookers are really quite handy. I mean, like if you had a little Florida kitchen outside and you wanted to cook outside or anywhere else in the world. Very, very handy. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, apple vinegar in here. Ap this is my favorite one. Um, Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. I just put a glug, maybe two glugs, that's all. It actually tastes really nice. I drink this every morning, so it tastes pretty good. I'm just going to let that get the heat up a wee bit. So you can see it's looking pretty nice already. There we go. Now, if you had some uh, green beans, you could slice up some green beans and put it in here. You could slice up some asparagus and, and put them in here. If you had some cashew nuts, you could put some cashew nuts and mix them in with this. 
Let's see what Kathy is saying there. I just can't just read that. Oh, thank you very much. Kathy, I got this from um, John's Pass. Uh, pom Pom. Yeah, he's got great stuff in there. Hi, Pamela and Patricia. Oh, you love hearing my birds. I know. Well, some of you that are, that are locked in flats right now, you don't get much of an opportunity other than your hour walk a day to hear the birds. That's why I thought I'd come outside today and just share a little bit of nature with you as well. Hello from San Diego. That's lovely. Great. Gosh, you girls are from all over the world. Hi, Cindy. I haven't seen any of my kids on here yet. I can hardly see you through the smoke. Ha! <laughs> oh, very good. Well, this is just bubbling up quite nicely. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cook it in here for a little bit longer. It doesn't really matter if I do or not, because I can always put it on again later. So if you have some greens, put them in there. And then what I would recommend, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. I made some sweet potato wraps the other day. These are two ingredients, sweet potato wraps. Just a cup of mashed sweet potato and a cup of your favorite flour. Mix the two together. I added some chili into mine. And you could actually use this in a wrap. These are very pliable. They don't break. They're better than the ones that you buy in the store and they're so darn easy to make. Okay? And so you could use one of these wraps for putting your, eating your chicken in. Or, uh, just to make things easy, I've got some basmati wild rice here that I might make up because I like the little black bits of rice in. Or, if you want to make yourself really, really easy, I've got uh, Tilda coconut chili lemongrass. So I'm just going to move this over while it's cooking a wee bit and leave it on. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. i got a little basil pan here. I'm going to put some fresh basil in there. Uh, just to give it a because I don't have anything green to put in and it makes it kind of fragrant so you can see how pretty you can make your food which I like I like pretty food I like colorful food that's for sure and I also have just to top it off a few sesame seeds so you could toast these if you want and to toast them you just put them in a frying pan okay turn your frying pan on no oil or anything like that dry fry and that's it. So there you have it. Stir fried, kind of sweet and sour chicken. Pretty easy, right? So I hope you get a chance to make it. I'm going to move this over for a minute so I can just see who's on and say hello, hello. There we go. I'll just let that cook away. And I think that if I move it over there, the steam's going to go this way. If it, Move it over there, the steam will come this way. So that's just the way it goes. So now I can see you quite clearly. Hi, Marilyn and Julia. Oh, Jeannie. Jeannie Fearson wants to say hello to Amy Buck. Thank you, Marilyn and Vicki. Well, I think this is going to be really, really delicious. I'm just going to turn it down a wee bit now. I'll turn it down to about three. I just let it cook away because you got to cook your chicken thoroughly, okay? I'll give it a good 20 minutes I would uh, I don't like to make my vegetables too soft though I like a little bit of bite in them still so that's looking pretty nice I'm gonna taste the sauce though okay see what the sauce tastes like oh yeah it's perfect it's sweet and sour <laughs> oh wow I just kind of made that up on the hoof so I'm quite pleased with that hi Judy how are you and Bonnie. I haven't seen some of you girls. And Julie. You're making quinoa lasagna tonight. Oh, very good. I have never made that, actually. I maybe need to make it sometime. Hi, Diane. And Trish, how are you? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Vicki. I really appreciate it. I think pink's sort of my color. I don't know. I don't know when that happened. Kind of Barbie dollish. <laughs> and Mary Mac, how are you? Good to see you girls. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, 
probably won't come on to, tomorrow, but the next day. And I thought that I would show you, you know, I'm a really big Indian food lover. If you wanted to put um, some chili in here, you could have put some chili in here too, red or green chili. Uh, I just forgot to cut it up. Uh, otherwise it would be in there and I might even add it later. <laughs> um, uh, I thought that I would show you how to make, I'm a really big Indian food lover, I've been ma making Indian food for over 30 years. I don't really use recipes, uh, just kind of the basis. I might look at something and say, mm, but then I just go off on a tangent and make it my own way. So I thought that I would come on and show you how to make a lovely snacking Indian food called pakora and how to make the sauce to go with it, the pakora sauce. It's really, really simple, uh, not complicated at all. And I made some the other day. They were absolutely delicious and so nice to eat the next day as well. So listen, thanks for coming on. Have a, I'm going off now to clear off this table and sit and have a drink of home brew cider and listen to the birds for a little while. So I want you all, of course, I forgot to mention at the very start of this, I want to wish each and every one of you a very happy Easter. Please stay indoors. Don't feel the necessity to get to family gatherings, etc. That's the way the virus will continue to spread if you do so. You might not think you're sick, but you might be. So just stay put. Um, some people are lucky enough not to have any symptoms whatsoever. So stay put, have a wonderful happy Easter. Uh, hope you can get your hands on some chocolate. Uh, you're still able to go out to the grocery store, so that's your, your routing for the week. And remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them an Easter egg. Love you all, and thanks for coming on. Have a wonderful day, as best you can, indoors.